Hello, welcome back to a new video and yeah, I don't know what to say, but today is a very important video to me. It's a wax melt haul. I spent my student finance on wax melts and this is what I got basically. They're all in this basket here. Uh, I do apologise if I'm a bit wonky today, it's because I've had to type my tripod together because every time I put my phone in it, it decided to go and yeah, tip to self and never let people borrow your tripod. So yeah, but yeah, let's get on with this and I can't wait to share these wax mounts from these wonderful, wonderful small businesses with you. So first of all, I just wanted to say, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscription button and the little bell as well if you want to be notified notified when I upload every single time because I'm that irregular. You do need a notification to let you know there is a video. And if you really like wax melts and you're interested in supporting small businesses, I've got a load of videos coming up very similar to this. So make sure you are subscribed so you do not miss out. And yeah, if you do enjoy this video, just thumbs up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess we better get into it. I think to start with, I will share the wax mounts from a small business that I'm now a brand rep for, and that is Getting On My Wig. If you use code Haley 10 uh, you'll get 10% off. So they sent me two little sample packs, and I will get them now. So these are the two little sample packs. We've got wild berries and a blueberry muffin. They did ask, say, they sent me a message like, oh, what sort of sent you into? And I'm like... Love baked goods, but I also like surprises because then I start, I like, I get wax melts that I don't usually get really and smells I don't usually get and I might actually like them. So this is the blueberry muffin, little bumblebee and then there's two little hearts in there as well. And with this, I can't really smell anything. <laughs> it smells really bad. I did, but I think it's because I've had a lot of wax melts and stuff on today, but there is a vanillariness, there is a sweetness. I can't wait to burn this one. So, yeah, it's a lot more intense in here. Definitely a lovely scent. And then the wild berries are in here, which this one's strong. This is almost like a yogurty scent. And I think that's very apt for um, wild berries because you get quite a lot of berry type yogurts, don't you? Um, but this is the bumblebee. And this one actually came with these little flower samples. And I'm looking forward to burning these ones. I think these are more of like a summery scent, but that's not an issue. You know, sometimes a summery scent in winter can help cheer you up. So yeah, make sure you use my code if you're interested in buying from them. Next up, we have the Hawthorne Collection, which is another small businesses. These are all small businesses. Uh, and the reason I go for small businesses is because they use quality ingredients. You know, I'm having an individual instead of a big old, big old company that doesn't use great ingredients and all of these wax mounts are also soy wax mounts which as you know is very very important to me but from the Hawthorne collection I got two snack bars and, and this is noisy two tarts so I'll do the snack bars first I'll show you those so I got black raspberry and vanilla and lavender and chamomile so the black raspberry and vanilla I love this one because it's kind of like a dark scent, if that makes sense. So yeah, I can't really smell much of vanilla, but I, I'm sure I will. And I just love the gradient. So you can choose what mood you're in. Do you want a really pink wax melt, a white one? Or do you want something a little bit in between to reflect your mood? <laughs> and then this is a lavender and chamomile. This one actually has bits of lavender within it, which I really love the idea of that. But it's also a really nice, clean, simple white wax. And it's gonna be perfect before bed. If I've had a stressful day and I need help unwinding, this is going in the wax burner, that is for sure. And then we have this one here. This tart is rose, and again, it's got some botanicals in it. Here you can see there's some botanicals here. I do kind of wish they're a little more. God, my face is so itchy today, it's horrible. Dry skin is a real issue. But no, it's got a very more of a Turkish delight sort of rose rather than like an English garden rose, if that makes sense. It's not granny like at all, which is what I was a little worried about. But I thought, you know, I'm going to try it because you can sometimes get some really beautiful rose scents. So I did. And then this one, 
is vanilla and lime. Again, this one is a mix of colours and I do wish there's a little bit more green in that one, but it's not an issue. And it is very, very citrusy. But uh, you have got a softness to it, which I presume is the vanilla. I'm not very good at being able to pick up vanilla in scents. And I don't like vanilla on its own, but I like it with other things. So, yeah, but that was the Hawthorne collection. I will also add all of these uh, businesses will be linked down below. I won't link individual projects because I'll be here forever. But all the individual businesses, their websites, whether they're on Etsy or their own website, and then their Instagram will be linked below because I found all of these on Instagram. So, yeah. Um, the next order I did was a pretty big one. And it's for all of these here from Mystique Melts Co. So I got some kind of normal scents and then some autumn scents. This is the only one I really got autumn scents from. Uh, kind of missed out on one of them because, well, most of these have actually launched their autumn scents since ordering or being sent the items. So yeah, bit of a shame. But no, we'll go with the normal ones and then autumn. So the two normal ones I picked up were these ones. This is a Palmer Violet and this is Ruby Jasmine, which is meant to be a similar scent to like a fabric softener. But I liked the idea of Ruby Jasmine and it looks nice. What I will also say, what I like about these is when you open them, you don't rip a label because they put it at the like seal at the bottom rather than at the top where the label usually is. So I get to keep this packing nice and clean and I always know what it is that I'm opening. Unlike just for an example, like Hawthorne, you actually open where that is and yeah, I don't know. I just, I prefer this. Obviously, it's, it's down to individual vendors and whatnot, what they're like. But yeah, these two. So let's start with Palmer Violet. God, I'm creating such a mess behind me. But Palmer Violet smells just like the sweet, like the gin. Because I'm a gin girl, rather. I prefer gin rather than Palmer Violet sweets. But it's nice and soft and powdery. And my boyfriend is going to very much enjoy when I burn this. I'm not going to be burning it until he comes over. We've been going over to his quite a lot. I might have to get him a wax burner just so I can burn some wax melt over there and he can get the joy of this one but no I love this and I did choose glitter I've got glitter on quite a lot of them I think so yeah I thought I'd continue the theme here and then the ruby jasmine I really like I want to try and find this fabric softener now because I want my clothes to smell like this I'm looking forward to being able to use this one. I think this is going to be a great scent for put, like leave, putting it on just before I go to uni and my room will smell beautiful by the time I come home. I have an electric wax melter so it's not so dangerous leaving it unattended because it's no naked flames or anything. Obviously I wouldn't do it if, it, if I was using one with a tea light or whatnot but I think this would be really, really nice. And then we've got our three scents of autumn. So I've got the Sweet Pumpkin, Apple spice and cinnamon apple. Start with sweet pumpkin because it's bright orange and why not? I love this one. I just love pumpkin scents and like candles and whatnot. And I haven't really been able to find any pumpkin candles on the high street this year. So this, I'm going to treasure this, you know? <laughs> I just love a pumpkin scented candle. And I've really kind of veered away from candles this year in general anyway. So to be able to find a good wax melt, which is pumpkin, is always a winner for me. We've then got apple spice, which is very, it's more spice than apple. I can't really put my finger on what it is. But yeah, it's, it, it's an apple pie. It is, it's an apple pie. That's what this is. This is an apple pie. And finally from Mystique, we have got cinnamon apple which is more in an apple than a spice, if that makes sense. I get more of an apple scent than a cinnamon scent, whereas this apple spice is more than a spice than an apple. Because I was, was a bit worried about ordering both of these, thinking, oh God, they might be really similar, but they're not. So, and I also like about this one, it's it's got two colours. So the like top bit where like your chocolate bar is, if that makes sense, is brown and then the bottom is this really deep red and it's really, really lovely. And it's got gold glitter on it. So yeah, that was a, a Mystique Melts Co. We have got Incentio, which is one of my favorite new brands. I discovered them while unboxing my Pick Me Up Boxes box. And I had, what was it? It was like Paradise Seas or something, Island 
Paradise Island Water or something like that. Those wax melts, they were a lovely, so I had to order another lot from them. So I've gone for three snap bars. We have then got, I think these are hearts. And then these two, mm, these two are stars. So I'll start with the snap bars. Um, so start, first of all, I got this one in their little clearance section. This is Grape Soda Pop. This order actually arrived this morning. I haven't had a proper sniff of them. I haven't properly unwrapped them. So this is an exclusive just for you guys. So I'm going to attempt to unwrap this in the nicest, best way I possibly can. Oh, this is going to be so difficult because I don't want it to be raw and open, really, if that makes any sense. But it's in some tissue. So hopefully I can keep that intact. So this is Grape Soda Pop. And I ordered this one from my boyfriend and when I got the package, as I took it out like the postal bag it was in, this is all I could smell. It is amazing. I love it. And oh yeah, I've got some ideas for a photo to take with that one. But yeah, this is another reason I need to get a little wax burner for when I'm around my boyfriend's because he would love this. So he loves anything grape flavoured, any American candies, American drinks. We've always got to get grape for him. So yeah. I like it and I liked that it wasn't your typical grape sort of purple it was blue and green and I really really liked that for some reason so yeah the other two snack bars I got were from their full price range and it is purple rain and rhubarb and custard now can we just take a moment to appreciate this packaging like this package they're in adorable little cardboard boxes that just feel I feel like I've got luxury in my hand I do like this one it's got unicorn on let me see if I can just it's a little unicorn <laughs> but no I just I love it I'm appreciating the effort that has gone in to this packaging but yeah let's unwrap it we'll go with rhubarb and custard first rhubarb and custard is one of my absolute favorite scents there we go oh it's wrapped up so beautifully in tissue paper as well oh my god I love this I adore adore this look at those colors and it smells divine it smells like it smells like the hard-boiled sweets oh i love that and i love that i'm not overly fussed on glitter i did say yeah go for glitter and she's only popped the smallest amount on and i love that because it just means there's a little bit of sparkle but i'm not having to like really clean out my uh, wax mat burner every single time Oh my god, I love that. I'll pack that back up here properly in a moment, but oh my god, right. I then have Purple Rain in obviously the same sort of packaging. This one's got florals all over it, so... And also, it's so lovingly wrapped up in tissue paper. I also like that the tape was easy to pull up, which is always a bonus, to be honest. When you're unwrapping anything and you want to try and keep it as neat as possible, give me tape that peels off nice and easy. Oh my god, what's this one gonna look like? I wasn't too sure on what Purple Rain would smell like. I don't know why. I know there's a Purple Rain cocktail at um, Spoons, but I've never really had it. I always used to have like the Palmer Violet one, I'm pretty sure. So, oh my goodness. Are you seeing this? Oh my god! The glitter! There is so much glitter. Oh my god. It obviously smells important, but this is just stunning. Look at that. Let's see if I can. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to have to take a photo of that before I put that back away. Oh my god. In fact, is this is this a thumbnail moment? Like, okay, I need to take my thumbnail photo one minute. That's done, but oh my god, right. I need to stop holding this because I'm going to get purple dye all over me. Uh, but beautiful freaking beautiful. Rihanna, you've outdone yourself. Oh my goodness. But then we have our little packets of shapes and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a few different types um, because I just love taking photos and yeah. So I got Snow Angel, wonder what that's meant to smell like, Sacular, which is also meant to smell like something, and then also Black Cherry, which is just black cherry so i'm gonna leave that last because i think this one's gonna be a little bit messy <laughs> but we're gonna go for these two first now these two are both inspired by lush of scents i believe obviously snow fairy snow angel is meant to smell like snow fairy and sakura i'm sure is meant to smell like another one of their bath bombs i'm not too sure which one 
but I bought it because I love the whole cherry blossom festival over in Japan and yes so let's do the snow fairy snow snow angel let's let's get it right Haley. snow angel <laughs> um but this one I got in the hearts and oh my goodness let's see if I can get a couple out I've got three out okay these are so pretty in the glitter on them it's absolutely stunning as well like oh and I'm telling you now they smell just just like the Christmas Lush products so I can't wait these ones might be held back for a little while but oh my god they're amazing I've never actually bought any of the snow fairy stuff from Lush I don't know I just I feel like they've always been a little bit too expensive for me. I really wanted the body spray the one year, but then I was like, 25 pounds, 25 pounds. No, not doing that. <laughs> so yeah, I've never really bought it, but a wax mat, why not? God, could you imagine how much money Lush would make if they actually made a snow fairy candle? Gosh, that would be a Lush. That would be good. But no, um, Sacula, <laughs> which I got in the star shapes. So let me just get these ones out. If anyone does know what bath bomb this one is based on or whatever, can you let me know? Because I like the smell of this. It's, I don't know, but this is them. They are very, very adorable. They're almost like starfish rather than actual stars. Look at that glitter. Oh my God. How freaking adorable. I love them. Um, but it's almost like a satsuma -y sort of smell. And maybe I'm completely off the mark here, but... Mmm, I like these. I don't know. I don't know what sort of season I'd say they're for. May probably spring, because I've actually... chucked it on the floor, you know. Sorry, so much respect there for what I buy. <laughs> um, obviously, Sakura is the cherry blossom season in Japan, and that tends to happen in spring. Oh my God, I'm covered in glitter. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe it's more of a springtime scent. I need to find out what the bath bomb is. Not that I have a bath to use it in, but I just want to know, see what it looks like. But no, I like the orangey sort of corally pink on that one. Because Sakura, I would have thought like little baby pink. Um, a lot like the blanket sort of thing I've got on my chair at the moment. Um, but who knows? But no, the last scent from Incentio is obviously black cherry. I love a dark scent and these smell so good. Again, sort of a yogurty scent, but I think that might be because I did used to have a black cherry yogurt when I grew up when I was growing up. So let's just take a couple out of here. And oh my goodness, look at those. These are giving me black opium vibes. You know the bo bottle of perfume? They actually just remind me of the actual bottle because it's got almost that pinky glitteriness to it. So yeah, that is just lovely and then we got one with a little less if i wasn't feeling too glittery one day i love these oh they smell good i like these a lot a lot a lot a lot like i'm so covered in glitter and stuff now but that's fine so we've got to wash our hands regularly at the moment anyway so yeah i love these i love these a lot so there we have it that is my wax melt haul if you have enjoyed this video, like I said earlier, make sure you are subscribed because I've got two, two wax mount boxes to unbox in the next couple of weeks. Um, one being a Halloween theme. So you don't want to miss out on that at all. Like I said, if you liked uh, the getting on my wick wax here, getting on my wick wax mounts. God, that's a tongue twister. I feel like it shouldn't be a tongue twister. Uh, I do have a code for 10% off, which is Haley 10 And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I can't wait to like get burning these and using them and taking photos of them. And oh my God, I'm just obsessed with wax mounts. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, which one do you think your favorite scent would be? And obviously, if you know what the secular uh, scent is based upon, that would be amazing. Thank you for watching. Bye.